Hello, my name is Jordan McCormick and I'm from Oklahoma High School. When asked if she wanted surgery to help the cancer or the infection, she replied as if she was sitting at the dining room table, gentle voice, grinning. 7.55 p.m., my grandma says, no, I'm tired, just let me go home. When this was said, the surroundings of the room seemed to wallop to mind, like the thin curtain that tried to give me and my family privacy, but failed, or not being able to see, see where her body separated from the sheets, except where the blood outlined her withered body. As I was sitting on the cold leather chair, her wheezing breath and the smell of the dark black coffee brought me back to the memories. The memories of waking up at her house and having the only alarm clock, the sizzling bacon, asking me if I was hungry, translated to, I'm so glad you're here, for my grandma. Or her driving 40 miles to the bustling town of Oklahoma, Nebraska, just so she could see me. And this lifestyle morphed into her career. It was someone at the nursing home pulling my jacket, saying, she is my friend. She's my friend until the end. This is how she was a great caretaker until someone had to take care of her. When she found out she was sick, there was no tears, no panic. She just looked up at the family and said, I've lived my life. I have six amazing children, amazing grandchildren, and I know where I'm going when I'm gone. This is when she quit her job. She quit her job like Satan forces his hand on the people that are weak. Her scoliosis showing his heavy hand, pushing her closer and closer to the ground. But the only question in her mind was why her back was shaped like a question mark. Beep. 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 Back to the doctor's monotone voice telling her it's her time to go. Back to the raw cheeks that burn like acid when the salty tears roll down them. Back to the stained sheets. As my grandma was being wrapped in the pure white blankets of the hospital, my mind was being encased in the heavy, wet blanket of depression full of all the tears I've cried that day. I was by her side when it happened. She just looked up at the family, closed her eyes slowly as she took her last breath in this life. Just let me go home. You're home now, Grandma. You're home. <laughs>